we talked about this a little bit in our previous stream. Um, I got some visuals here that we can throw on the screen. There is a number of different combinations you can go with as far as a potential starting five. And honestly, we may not even know at all what it's going to be yet because we still got 24 million account space. But I just wanted to kind of talk based off of what we currently have. Do you have a particular starting five king that you would like to see at least rolled out at the beginning of the season? What are you looking at? Me, for Cade and Ivy's sake, because obviously those two are going to be my starting guards. Right. I would love to see those two maybe. Hmm. It's the three and four spot for me. The okay, right. Is that, right. right. It's three right. and four. Of course, Tobias is going to start. Yeah. Um, but you got Fontecchio and you got Asar. Mm -hmm. That's the question for me between mm -hmm. those obviously Fontecchio is the shooter and Nassar is the defender yeah. I think they should do it based off of matchups if I'm the Pistons that's how I'm doing it I'm in the same boat for me one through three and five are pretty much solidified you got Kate at the one Ivy the two for me I have Tobias at the three and oh. I have yeah. Duran at the five we talk so much about the two big lineups in the east yeah. all the time Putting Tobias at the four does not help you guard those two big lineups at all. Not at all. We saw it when he was here before. We talked about it. When Kevin Love was dominating him in 2016 in the playoffs when he got swept. LeBron was just tossing the ball down to Kevin Love every single time and go to work in the post. And it was hard to watch. I don't want to see that anymore. All the contending teams in the East are big. They all have size. So if we're going to try to contend in the East, we need to have size. So my ideal lineup as of right now is not a popular one but but Stu at the four but Stu at the four that's to me that's that's what makes the most sense as far as being able to have spacing size and defense he's too small to guard starting fives Fontecchio and Tobias together that's that's fun that's fun that gives you more spacing probably going to score more points but now you're relying solely on Jalen Duran to grab rebounds and that's I don't want that. And I don't I don't want to see any of our fours getting bullied in the paint when you got two other bigs and they're trying to go against them. I don't want to see that. I know Stu is not many people's favorite pick because you know people think he's an undersized five or maybe he's a backup five, but he gives you all those things we're looking for. That either Asar or Fontecchio only gives you one. Fontecchio, he's 6'7, 205. Tobias is 6'8, 235. So if I don't want Tobias, I definitely don't want Fontecchio at the four. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to have a big backcourt and have a small front court because now you're just offsetting your size. So to me, Stu would make a lot of sense because he gives you spacing. You don't need him to score a lot of points because now you have spacing on the floor with Tobias Harris. He can get buckets for you. He can give you more spacing. So now your guards can get guys like Stu easy buckets. It just opens up, I think, the offense and the defense. It allows the defense to still be intact to where you're still able to match up with those bigger teams. And I'm going to answer this. Almost every team that we watched in the playoffs. Yes. Almost all of all the good teams that we watched in the playoffs. Milwaukee <laughs> and Boston. Right? Those are the two, the two <laughs> biggest threats. Even New York. They play big. Yeah. The Pacers. All the teams that are in the playoffs in the East, they have these two bigs. Man, so if we're going to try to contend, I don't want a 6'8 big that's, that doesn't play bigger than the size. We got to be the match up. If he's still on the roster, what gives him an opportunity and chance is him showing an ability to stretch the floor last season. Right. That's what gives him an opportunity. You know, playing him at the four, you got a much of a better chance of him defending a four than a five. Yes. Exactly. 100%. Or if they want to go out and get somebody in free, if they don't, you know, if you don't think Stu is a starting player, okay, then use that 24 million and, and go get somebody at the four. Go get a, probably not going to happen, but a Miles Bridges type of guy. He, and he's not even really that big of a four, right? But. If that's the move, then if you want to get somebody else to bring in to fill that four spot and have Stu off the bench as your five or something like that, I'm with that. But I just want to have size in that front court, man, because the teams are going to be playing, they're going to bully us if we don't have that size. They just, they just are. To me, this, this is what I want to see right here. Right here. Cade, Ivy, Tobias, Stu, JD. I think that is the most balanced starting five. Both sides of the ball, I think that's the most balanced starting five, in my opinion. Unless you can go out and get a Lori Markin it right you know, that changes things so drastically it, it, yeah, <laughs> right this is based off obviously what we have right now so you know i still think the pistons are definitely not done uh, right at roster we still need backup bigs yep you know wiseman just winning and, and uh 
got the bag. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Shout out to him, man. Shout out to him, man. I know it didn't work here. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy for both us and for him because I really didn't see a fit for him any longer on this team. But I am happy for him too that he's going to get another opportunity. I hope this time he can really find a home and, and get it together because it's been a rough go for him so far. You know, this is interesting because I've seen a couple of comments on Twitter. I think Hardaway's past is starting days. I think he's an off the bench guy now. I do too. I think he's past his starting days, man. I don't want him taking Ivy's minutes either from away from his development. He needs to come off the bench. I agree. And I think you kind of just live with it. You may feel like he's a better, you know, fit. And maybe he is currently right now. But that doesn't mean that Ivy can't turn into a better fit. I think at a ceiling, Ivy has a much higher ceiling than a prime Tim Hardaway Jr. We have a new roster. We have a new coach. We'll have a new GM. And we have a new president. I want to see what these guys look like under all this newness. We haven't seen it. So I definitely am going to give Ivy a chance to prove that he deserves that starting two guard spot. And if he doesn't, now we having a different conversation. But to have not seen it with this new team that we have, this new front office that we have, this new coach that we have, I got to see it first before I can just dismiss it for sure. Yeah. If they start Hardaway at the two, then, you know, Ivy being in the six man, I mean, I guess I just have to deal with that. But me personally, I just don't want to see it. I right. Right. That's that point to me. And Marvin, you're right. He did say he wanted to play with him, but he didn't say he wanted to start with him. I'm just saying, we don't we don't know to the extent of what that meant. So, yeah, we got to wait and see, man. I, I'm definitely not benching Ivy. I, after what he had to do last year, I'm right. not messing with his confidence again. Slow bringing in somebody back. who is no longer in their prime and you haven't given Ivy a chance to play under this new infrastructure. I mean, that's the perfect way to mess with his confidence even more after we have the last season. I'm not doing that. We, we'll be stuck in the same scenario where we are now saying that him and Cade only played 60 plus games. You see what I'm saying? Right. So right. I, I don't want nobody getting in the way of that, bro. Move your ass out the way. Let these star backcourt yep. build some chemistry and play together. And then, you know, like I say, you can come off the bench. Yeah. 100%. They played a total of 68 out of a possible 164 games together. That's like a third of the games. So there's no way I'm, I'm pulling him out of that starting lineup right now. I got to see what it looks like first. Yeah. On paper, like we talked about earlier, on paper, it might look better. But on the court, you got to wait and see. We headed straight to the top in the north. I got to face it.